Good evening and welcome to another episode with T260. Today we're going to kind of knock it up a extra notch. We'll be doing meatloaf in a Dutch oven and huge disclaimer. This is not my recipe. This is a recipe for a book. I'll go ahead and show you it. For those that don't know me, I'm actually a big time scouter, have been since I was a child. This is a book written by Christian and Tim Connors. Uh, the title is The Scouts Outdoor Cookbook. Um, there's a lot of nice recipes in here, and we're going to leave you a link in the description for this book. You can find it from Amazon or any local scout shop. We're going to do, uh, it's going to be on page 92. And this recipe, let me pop it up for you, was from Venture Crew 509 Bucktail Council. And so we're going to give everybody that had a part in this some credit. And we're going to go ahead and put this together and show you what it takes to do one of these amazing recipes in a Dutch oven. Okay, we're gonna go over some of the ingredients that you're gonna need, starting off with the meat. This is 90-10. Uh, you can probably go as high as an 80-20. So you're gonna need two pounds of that. We got two cans of mushroom and stems. We'll leave the exact amount in the description. Two eggs. Two cups of shredded mozzarella. Half a cup of ketchup. Three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs. Three quarters of a cup of water. And half a diced onion. And one pack of Lipton. And so feel free to get your hands in there. Okay, so like I said, just use your hands. Make sure to get this all nice and mixed. It's okay. And once again, we'll go ahead and leave you exact details on this in the description and if you're interested in more of these recipes leave us some comments and so we can go ahead and come up with some more for you okay so we have it all mixed in and what we're gonna do is we've separated these into two equal amounts of meat now we're gonna go ahead and kind of make them loaf like And just make it however you want it to. Kind of make it even. It's gonna, we're going to put this in a 14-inch shallow Dutch oven, although it does say to use a 12-inch shallow, but I like to have that extra bit of room. Let's put this to the side real quick. Bring our Dutch oven. We're going to go ahead and transfer them. I've already oiled up our Dutch oven. Use some uh, canola oil. This is a well-seasoned... Dutch oven, probably 30, 35 years old. So it doesn't need the grapeseed oil. And just go ahead. And get your loaves ready. And now it's time to take this outside and put the coals on top. Okay, so we now have the meatloaf in the Dutch oven, we have our coals on top. Now, rule of thumb is you have half the amount of coals on top as you do on bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, take a look what we've done. It's barely been in there. Right now, we have some ketchup we painted on top. It's been in here for maybe 20 or so minutes. We probably have about an hour or more to go. So we're gonna put this back on top and let it cook for a little longer, or about an hour longer, and we'll check it then. So it's been another 20 minutes. Let's take a look at it. Now we've had a little bit of it breaking apart, but that's okay. This is a Dutch oven. 
overall it looks like we need about another 30 minutes to get some juices at the bottom um, some people do have like a little rack for their dutch oven that can lift them up a little bit which is kind of handy i just unfortunately do not have one but they're looking really great let's put the lid back on and check in in about another 30 minutes okay our food is done let's take a look at them We've already taken the temperature. It was 175, I've already checked it. And uh, let's go ahead and take it off and cut it up and let's take a look at it. We've taken one of our meatloafs off the Dutch oven. We're gonna go ahead and cut it open and let you take a look at what it we made. Now there you go. So yes, even in camping, let's see if we can take a better look at it. So yes, even in camping, you could do something like a meatloaf. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave a link to that cookbook. We hope you enjoy it. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and notification on the bell. Go ahead and click that and make sure you turned it on. If you have any questions about this or would like to see more recipes, please let us know. And for the rest of y'all, have a nice day.